Beauty creator Nana consumer, this is Angus. You may just begin your buying from China as told. We have to start from as small as we can, 100 pieces, 200 pieces per product. But you have never imagined that you could buy containers and containers of products from China. For me, I did deal with a couple of customers. This started from small as well. One product in the very beginning, 500 pieces. But soon they skilled the business, they could buy 2,000 pieces per product and now they had all together around 10 products and then they could mix all of those products into one container. Hey wait Angus, what are you talking about? What is container? Good questions. Today we will introduce you four types of shipping container to help you ship your products from China to your destination. So let's check all of those details in the computer. As you can see here, we're in MSK website. It is a shipping line company, okay? And it has the complete information about those four types of containers. What do you need to know will be very simple, only two factors, the payload and the capacity of the container. But if you're buying big furniture or huge machines, you may need to check the dimensions of the container as well in case your products cannot be fit in the container. So what you need to do, just click this plus button. It will have all of those uh, details information of the container, okay? Well, here we will not go into those details. Let's check those four uh, containers, the basic information first. 20 foot standard steel. It is also known as 20 foot container or 20 foot GP. It means 20 foot general purpose container. The payload of the container is around 28.3 ton. It's 28,300 kilograms and the capacity is around 33 cubic meters. And for 40 foot standard steel, it is also known as 40 foot container, 40 foot GP container. The payload of it is around 28.8 ton. The capacity is 67 cubic meters. And for 40 foot high steel, it is also known as 40 foot high cube container or 40 foot HQ or 40 foot HC container. The payload, it will, uh, it will be around 28.69 ton. The capacity will be around 76 cubic meters. Well, for 45 high steel, it is also known as 45 high cube container. The capacity, uh, it, it is also known as uh, 45 HQ container or 45 foot uh, HC container. And the payload will be around 27.65 ton. The capacity of the container is around 85 cubic meters. So those will be all of those uh, details information about those four containers. So if you have more interest about it, you can just go into this um, website, shipping line website, and you can click those uh, plus buttons to have all of this information, okay? Well, as we can see that even the sizes of the container are so different, but the payload, there are not a huge difference between those four types of shipping containers. They are actually designed for different purposes. If you're buying heavy items like hardware, you could choose 20 foot container. And if your products, they are light and have big volume, you could choose 40 foot container. And we had customers, they bought cheap and light items to fully load the container to save the cost. So in this case, they will decrease the yearly shipping cost. Well, I had one more experience I need to share with you guys. I got a customer from UK. Once he ordered around 32 cubic meters products from us, and he insisted that we could load all of those products into one 20 foot GP container. It should be reasonable because we just checked that the capacity of a 20 foot container is around 33 cubic meters. Well, it turned out that we cannot load all of those products into a 20 foot container. Why? Because when we were loading the container, we could not fit all of the space due to the different sizes of the boxes and the cartons. So the actual capacity of the products we can load in, into the container will always be less than the capacity of the container, okay? So in the last five years, we loaded many containers. From our experience, we can say that for a 20 foot GP container, it can be loaded with around 27 to 30 cubic meters products. And for a 40 foot GP container, it can be loaded with around 
54 to 56 cubic meters products. And for a 40 feet HQ container, we can load around uh, 66 to 68 cubic meters products. Well, for a 45 HQ container, it can be loaded around 76 to 78 cubic meters products. It's not 100% accurate, but hopefully it could be helpful when you're loading your container in China, okay? And if you find this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you have different opinion, please comment down below this video so we can share it to other people. If you're the first time watching my video, go subscribe and stay yourself updated. Once more, this is Angus. Like, share, and follow. Do what you want to. Spread words.